To needle the posterior sacroiliac ligaments, identify the location of the PSIS and the posterior aspect of the iliac crest. Roll over the edge of the iliac crest and insert your needle in a posterior to anterior direction, slightly laterally directed. You will pass through the thoracolumbar fascia and then into the dense ligamentous structure of the posterior sacroiliac ligament. In a more distal location, we can roll over the edge of the PSIS onto the lateral aspect of the sacrum. Again, directing the needle posterior to anterior and slightly lateral. And this slight lateral direction is aiming towards the sacroiliac joint. The iliolumbar ligament connects the transverse process of the L5 vertebra to the iliac crest. To needle this ligament, direct your needle in a posterior to anterior direction over the edge of the iliac crest at the level of the L5 vertebra. To get to the level of the iliolumbar ligament, you will need to pass through the thoracolumbar fascia and the iliocostalis lumborum. Beyond the iliocostalis lumborum will be the location of the iliolumbar ligament. Once the needles are in place, we can perform a unidirectional winding technique and leave the needles in situ for up to 10 minutes. And this is a useful technique for a sensitized sacroiliac joint. Here we can see that by winding the needle, it binds on to the underlying connective tissue. As we go to retract the needle, the tissue has grabbed onto the shaft of the needle. This can be a useful stimulation technique to stimulate the iliolumbar ligament and the sacroiliac ligaments.